Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are progressing my modern Cherry Blossom City some more. If you're new here, I have been documenting the whole entire build process from start to finish. We obviously have a long ways to go still on this island, but if you want to go check out kind of how the entry was, you know, starting to develop and also the other live streams, I will have everything linked in the video's description as well as all the codes that I'm using on today's video. So my plan basically for this island is doing a mixture of traditional Japanese exteriors mixed with some modern exteriors as well. I really wanted to do an island around this for quite some time actually, but I always find myself just doing, you know, traditional Japanese styled exteriors. So I'm really excited to actually be dedicated on combining both modern and traditional together. I also feel like just doing both of these styles on one island will add a lot more realism to it just in general. Again, if you're new here, I have been documenting literally everything on this island. Definitely tune into those live streams. I do stream every single week on my channel. So make sure your notifications are turned on just to be able to see the progression in real time as well. So today I'm going to be moving a another reps home onto the island and y'all are going to be so proud of me i'm actually dedicating my time to decorate the interiors of every single building on this island i normally don't focus on decorating villager interiors and just like the rep homes in general and also the beaches because normally after every single island we create i delete it and restart so i'm really excited about this too because i feel like it'll bring more of the island to life as well like i'm definitely going to be decorating this house here as a temple there's going to be several different rooms with perspectives i'm really excited just to do interiors in general i really want to have each villager home be themed especially depending on the location they're at like i plan to decorate both of those villager homes by the marketplace to kind of like include them into the market in a way as well anyways i'm just really excited to actually be decorating villager homes and making them be a part of my island theme as well i just really wish that we had more custom design space like the road that i'm using takes up pretty much most of my design code space so I'm having to get like really creative with the items that we get in game to really capture the city core elements that we always do on my channel so I'm very limited design wise on the island and the fact that I'm actually going to be focusing on interiors for once kind of just makes me sad at the fact that we don't have more design slots just in general there are so many great interior codes that I just won't be able to use due to not having space so I'm hoping maybe this island can be an example that you can have a bunch of road pieces and still do a really nice city core theme with that limitation yes it's going to be super stressful and frustrating but like i said i'm up for a challenge and so far i think i've been handling the challenge pretty well so for the reps home as you can see we've been using storefront and simple panels and i'm just kind of going for a very basic uh temple design over here like i always say on my videos i don't plan my builds and i kind of just go with the flow but i do regret putting this build so far up because as you can see i have a really awkward amount of space behind it i probably should have built this closer to the edge of the map or just maybe a different location in general but we already got the build done and we're gonna have to make do with the space that is left as you can see it's starting to come together i really liked the tory gates kind of behind the storefront it just added a little bit more dimension but then i thought the gazebos just really added a nice you know extra roof to the build as you can see it has this really nice roof structure now behind the tory gates it just really added such a nice temple vibe to it and i really liked that we could see this build also from that highway spot near the market. Now that that's done, I'm gonna be focusing on my first very modern structure. And this is actually inspired by my friend Zara Crossing on Instagram. I will have Zara linked in the video's description. So the full credit for this build definitely goes to them. I just really loved these clean and simple modern buildings that they've been doing on Instagram. And since I'm going for a traditional modern themed island, I thought it'd be really perfect to start introducing these builds as soon as possible since we're still really early in the island building process process. So we won't be able to see this on today's video but I'm thinking next to this modern building we'll do some sort of a really big modern like restaurant. I have plans. I want to do like a really nice shopping district area down here and then eventually if I have room I would love to add my favorite highway build that we always see on my channel. Being that this is my forever island I really want a lot of my favorite builds to be on it. So if I can fit my highway I want to do some really nice new transitional ideas from it as well. I think it'd be really cool to somehow incorporate a 
subway build and also using the basement of my house. I've been seeing that build all over and I think it'd be really fun to do something like that with the basement of my home, just kind of making that build a little bit more interactive in a way. So of course, if I have the space to do that, that is definitely one of my dream builds for this island. But as for everything else, I'm kind of just going with the flow and seeing what happens. I don't want to limit myself because then I feel like it'll cause burnout and, you know, creativity walls. And if you're one of my regular followers, I know we talk about this so much on my videos, but for those who are new here, definitely do not limit yourself creativity wise when it comes to builds like you're seeing today. Just going into an island with no plan or idea has been the most rewarding and best thing I have ever done for Animal Crossing builds because then I don't stress out about how things are going to transition, where things are even going to be. I just kind of let my brain do all the work for me. With all this being said, just building on an Animal Crossing island has been a lot more enjoyable ever since I stopped overthinking every little placement and detail. All right, so now that we have all of our exteriors done, we're going to start filling in with the details and just decorations throughout the whole entire build. Obviously, I don't have all the transitions done, but we'll definitely have some ideas on the next video. There's actually going to be two parts to this video. Our next video is going to be more focused on getting the temple interior finally decorated. If y'all have any fun ideas for the interior of that rep home, please let me know in the comments section below. I'm really excited to actually be recording some interiors finally on my channel. I'm definitely looking forward to that. But anyways, before we even get started on finishing the decorations by said temple, I'm going to go ahead and add some details by this incline and then of course we're going to add some more details by our modern building as well. Before I start adding some final details to the modern build exterior in my temple build I am going to put some angled crosswalks over here. Zara Crossing was super amazing to create me some angled crosswalk pieces to their road design and so if y'all are looking for a really nice angled crosswalk that looks really realistic with this road definitely head over to the MA code because the design is live now. Anyways after I finish placing in this angled crosswalk we will be doing a final walkthrough of today's video if y'all have any fun ideas for this island let me know in the comment section below I'm always reading them and the feedback does help me out a lot I definitely think because it's Sakura season right now we need to do a um, festival area I would also love to do a large fish market area but everything else on the island is unplanned so y'all's feedback and ideas will truly help me out anyways now that the build is finally finished we're gonna do a walkthrough before today's video ends I ended up moving a villager over here and I'm actually going to be doing a Happy Home Paradise speed run. If y'all are interested in seeing that on a live stream, please let me know in the comments. But I'm planning to do that speed run so I can finally start editing some villager exteriors and also just get ready for the interior decorating process as well. So that is going to change, but this is how the whole entire build is starting to flow. Like I said earlier in this video, we are going to be decorating the temple over here. My next video of this island will definitely be us decorating that temple and then probably doing some more transitions on the build that we saw today as well. Anyways, before this video ends, I want to give a huge thank you to my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Thank you to Adriana Dawson, Madison Rachel, Jim Holman, Cosmom, Ellie Dogmeat, Emily, Trisha Dunn, Dami, Catherine Frank, The Artsy Gamer, Kirby, Opal of Wisteria, Irish Lady 51, Baby Blue X016, Cherry Dot Crossing, Mickey Koo, Amanda, It's Your Girl Crystal, The Bella and Connor Adventure.